welcome back to another video. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I'm doing a Christmas themed makeup tutorial. I am letting you guys know right now, I do not do makeup at all. I have a bunch, but I don't do it. Just for the simple fact that I can't. We're just gonna go with the flow. I'm just gonna show y'all my little tiny abilities that I do have that have to do with makeup. They're not that great. And this is probably gonna be a really simple, easy two second look, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do a full face. I'm gonna do a full face. <laughs> See how that goes. But yeah, that's basically the video. Today is December 1st. Happy December 1st, guys! Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do Vlogmas or like just post every day till Christmas. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I'm not gonna say I'm doing it because who knows? But you know, it's a new month. You just gotta get you get more motivated each month, especially because this is the last month of 2019. This year just went by so fucking quick. So I'm just ready to start off the new year. First, we gotta start off the new year with a new look. Got my man. That's from the dollar store. So yeah, I'm just gonna basically just do my makeup. Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher from Starbucks. First, I'm gonna wash off my face because I just woke up not too long ago. I'm gonna wipe off everything off my face. Then we're gonna moisturize this bitch. My face is about to be really red. I'm just letting you guys know that now. Face is washed. The moisturizer I use is Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream Dry Skin. Or it's for dry skin. It's Garnier. Garner, um, yeah, it's skin active. I don't know, that's what it's called. It looks like gel, literally. And I like this one a lot because I just like how it feels on my face. I hate moisturizers that make your face feel extremely, like, or not even your face. I hate moisturizers that make, I don't, like, it feels like a lotion you're putting on your face. I don't like those. I either like the whip or the gel. This is the first time of me getting gel. I've been using the same moisturizer for like a year. So I was like, let me try something new. There wasn't really nothing wrong with the last one I had. So I'm kind of just freestyling, just so y'all know. I'm just freestyling because, yeah. First, we're gonna do my eyebrows because that is important. I am going to be using Rihanna color because I don't like to do much to my eyebrows. So I'm gonna just be using the Rihanna Brow MVP. I don't know what this color is called. So first we're gonna start on the brows. Let me fully them out. And I just got them done, thank God. I made a makeup video like a week ago and my eyebrows weren't done. That's the worst time to do your makeup. And my eyebrows never look the same. They are sisters, not twins. That's just the tea. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. I have two of them because I'm like right in the middle. So this is a 300 and this is a 280. Um, I just mix the two. I put more 300 though because I'm like not a 300 and not a 280 and I didn't get a 290. And then I just put like a dash. Okay, and I just, I mix it with my finger. Cause you know, I don't need a lot of concealer. Honestly, I don't it on my eyebrow. Don't I look cute? <laughs> my brushes. I put them in this cup because I didn't want them laying on the table. I just washed these brushes and it's been a minute. I got this brush from Vanity Planet. It's a smudging brush. I use it to smudge my eyebrows. So I just want to tell you guys a couple things why I don't wear makeup. One, because I don't know how to do it, which is about to be the obvious in a second. Two, because I don't know how to do it, when I mess up, I have to start all the way over. Now, if you do your makeup a lot, you probably don't mess up that often. And it's just really frustrating. Some of you guys can't relate. But I mess up a lot. I just get frustrated. Like, you know how many times I've put on makeup to go out and then just took it all off and went out like barefoot? Probably about 50 times. I'm not gonna say 50. That's being dramatic. Probably like 10. And I'm also left-handed, so I feel like this is like, I don't know if this is for other makeup people too, but it just takes me like 10 times longer to do anything because I have to like do all this extra shit. And you see how that look on this side? Crazy. So I'm gonna go in with this darker shade. It's from Benefits. It is the number five. It's just the pencil. And I just want to let you guys know one more time before you're in my comments saying that I'm doing anything wrong in this video. I do not. I repeat, do not do or know how to do my makeup. So therefore, I might look a little crazy. I do take constructive criticism. And a lot of people on social media get rudeness mixed up with constructive criticism. 
and that blows the fuck out of me i'm done with my eyebrows but i forgot my sponges so i'll be right back i'm gonna try to cut this video to a minimum because every time i do a makeup video which clearly i never post them they take about three hours to do got my sponge it's already wet oh and i have my coconut <laughs> my coconut oil right here in a bottle it's literally it's the virgin coconut oil i just put it in a little bottle but i like it a lot so i'm just gonna carefully dab in there dab some of that off boom and I absolutely love to use any type of oil on my face while I am doing my makeup. That is for the simple fact of, I don't know if it's the type of makeup I use, like the Fenty brand, which no disrespect to Rihanna, which I really don't feel like it's a disrespect to be honest. But I just feel like sometimes certain, certain brands don't work for you and I feel like her stuff is probably made for people that have really oily skin. I have extremely dry skin, which means when I put this foundation, concealer, any type of her products on, it makes my skin just look even more dry, which is frustrating. Okay, do my eyebrows look okay? I can't see, so I'm gonna constantly be in my phone. They look horrible. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna do my eyeballs. So I like to put concealer on my eyes instead of like an eyeshadow primer because I just feel like it works way better and i also like to use my finger to spread it around for like the first second and then i use the sponge but i like to like spread it around on my eyelid and the only reason i'm doing my eyeshadow first like i said if you guys have any tip let me know it spreads i don't know how to explain it when i put eyeshadow on it just spreads really bad like onto my cheeks i like to do this first so then i can get all that product off before i start putting on foundation and stuff which i have about 10 different foundations which i'm going to show you like 10 different colors i have so many different colors even that out and I never got the significance of like which side is for what. I have an eyeshadow palette from James Charles. So this is what I'm working with today. Like I said, I'm freestyling. Who knows if this is really a good idea that I'm freestyling, but <sighs> I don't know. I'm not doing no cut crease or nothing because I don't really know how to do that. I mean, I'm I, right, but I'm not like A1 and it takes me forever to do it anyway, so I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna take my, what brush is this? This is a brush from Vanity Planet also. This is the medium blender. I'm gonna take this color right here and put it at the top of my eyelid. I used to do my makeup in high school every single day. I don't think I ever went to school without makeup on my face. I used to do good with like the blending or I used to do like good with like the half and half. I used to do like, I used to like literally like split it in half and do like half red and half it depended what i was wearing i used to match my makeup with whatever i was wearing every single day i had to leave the house by 7 to get there by 7 10 7 15 so i would leave at 7 i would wake up at 6 that was until my senior year though before my senior year i used to wake up at like 6 and get ready and i'd be ready by 7 like an hour shower i showered every morning but my, my hair was usually always flat ironed already and i always wore my hair flat ironed to school but my senior year i generally just did not care anymore like the last like four or five months i literally wake up at 6 45 and just get up and go like don't really care to be here or anyways so might as well do the bare minimum so that is what i did right now okay so next i'm going to use this color i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> I'm just trying to do like the bare minimum because every time I try to do the most, it always messes up. So I'm gonna put that like right in the like my crease area. I should get a smaller brush. Like this brush. This is from Vanity Planet. It's called a crease shader. <laughs> exactly what I needed. And I kind of know like where I'm putting it because I could feel when I like pat down the crease in my eye. You know, I did this whole makeup tutorial the other day. It was probably like last week. I put one orange on my face and then I put an opposite orange. Like I put an orange from a different palette and then used this orange on accident. And I was so pissed. This is a nice little innocent, like, I'm a virgin look. <laughs> By the way, guys, it's not bad to be a virgin, just so you know. What color am I gonna use next? What color are we gonna take? So, for the inside, I kinda wanna do like this, this um, sparkly color, but how would that look with the red? Let's swatch it. That would look pretty. That would look so cute. But should I switch it? I think I should have the brown on the inside, like I said, and then the outside red. Ooh, this red's gonna stain my skin. Look, it's already staining. Oh, should I use it? Let's try the brown and the green. <laughs> Ooh, and then we can use this green. That's really pretty. Ooh, I kind of like that better. You guys see it? Hopefully. Hopefully. Wow. Hopefully. That's actually cute. So I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to do the brown on the inside and the green on the outside. It's going to look so cute. Can't wait. All right. So I'm going in with the crease shader again, and I'm going to go in with this color. Let me show you guys this color right here. 
I feel like this is probably gonna be a look that I'm actually gonna like. Maybe I should use this bigger brush, the medium blender. Oh yeah, see that's, it's just, it's applying quicker. Boom, okay, so now I'm gonna use the green. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna be using this green. I don't know what any of these colors are, like the, the names. So, I mean, if I figure out the names, I'll tell you, but I probably won't. So I like that I'm getting the brush a little bit wet, so then it will stick. Bada boom. Okay, so now that I did that, wow, <laughs> I did pretty good. I'm gonna go back in with the same color that I used on the inside and just kind of blend it, not with that. I don't know why I did that. With my, what, crease shader again, but I'm gonna use it to blend. So I have 10 different ones. I have, they're all Fenty. I have a 290, 310, 290, and 300. So I think last time I mixed, cause I keep, every time I go, I like, I'm a different color. So I'm gonna take some of this because this is a hydrating longwear foundation. It's more hydrating than the matte. This is a matte. I'm gonna mix them because I feel like that's just the smartest thing to do. Now I kind of have to swatch on my face. I don't know, I don't know my shade. Cause I'm like in the middle of both of these. This might sound crazy, but I'm gonna go in with my my concealer because I feel like it's just more like um like a thicker formula and cover all these little spots that I have usually people use like um like those like color correctors but I don't have any therefore can't use them if I don't have them this is a color I mixed up and it doesn't it, it it matches to my knowledge so we're just gonna slap it on my face so I like to put some of this coconut oil on my brush put some of it on there it's gonna soak in you see it soaking in and then I'm just gonna take it against this paper plate I have and just get as much as out as I can because you don't want too much oil on your face okay and then I'm gonna dip this and just pat it on my face and then I'm gonna blend I feel personally like the oil doesn't like it makes your face not look cakey <laughs> done with the foundation does it match my skin bro it don't even look like i put anything on to be honest okay so next is the concealer i'm gonna use this same concealer i was using so if i put more down i don't know how to do this i'm just letting everybody know now. i don't i do what other people do and now i look like a clown now i'm gonna blend it out and this actually makes, <laughs> this makes a difference. Is there a difference? Now I'm going to use her match stick, the skin stick, to contour. Do I see it? I don't really see a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna use my highlight and blending brush. This is from It Brushes. So I'm just gonna brush up and down to contour. I think that all I have left is like my eyeliner, my mascara, and highlighter. Hmm, I think that's it. All right, so I suck at this, so it's probably gonna take me forever and I'm probably gonna mess up. If anybody has any simple ways to do eyeliner, let me know. One season later.
Okay, so now that I did the top, I'm going to do the bottom part of my eyeballs. I'm probably gonna take this brush, it is the rounded liner brush. I'm gonna put some like a little bit of water on it from this. I've been using it for my makeup. <laughs> I'll put some like a little bit of water on it so it's moist so the eyeshadow will stick. Okay, so I did that one, I did the brown, and now I'm about to do the green. I kinda like how this looks, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I really did everything. So now I'm gonna do, I wanted to do blush. Do you do blush before highlight or after? I feel like you do it before. So we're gonna do it before. So to apply my blush, I like to use like a contour brush. And this is a angled contour brush. I'm gonna use a mixture of these two. And I use the same for my highlighter. Oh, and this is called um, Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I like to use a mixture of both. I literally just like go straight down the middle. I think I'm done, so I'm gonna go get dressed and then come back so I can be a bad bitch. Okay, you guys, so this is my finishing look. I tried to do my hair, didn't work out so well. How does it look? I gotta take like a thumbnail. And one of those cute little videos where they're like, da -da 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 -da. My setting spray is old or something because you can see it's all over my hair and all over my shirt. So yeah, this is it guys. This is my look for Christmas. This is the exact look I'm wearing on Christmas. No, I'm just joking. But I think this is way better than I've ever done. I don't know what's with me lately. Maybe because, I don't know, I watch a lot of beauty videos, but I don't do my makeup. I don't know, they're just interesting. I don't know, but this is it, guys. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting so much this month. I know I'm just, I, I could talk and not do whatever, but I'm going to just show y'all. Because, you know, if you're new to my channel, then just disregard anything I said and just make sure that you subscribe to watch more of my videos coming soon. So, yeah. I think that's it, guys. Bye.